I'm Mike Avila with Sci-Fi Wire, and I've already lost control of this interview. I'm here with the cast and the creator of the new sci-fi series, Medina, which just had its premiere here at the San Diego Comic-Con. Joining us now is Natasha Hensrich, Eric Roberts, Rick Ravenello, and the creator, Ahmed Albaker. Thank you guys for being here. It's you all his here. fault. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Blame him. So we'll start with you first, Ahmed. The show is based around a very current idea, an issue, climate change, that triggers uh, a serious crisis in the near future. Uh, tell us about it and how the, the show idea came to you. Um, basically, um, the, the, the entire story really taps on the matter of change, just not just climate change, and how should we deal with change, um, uh, changing from uh, what we're used, the way we're used to live, uh, um, uh, the way we're used to do, do things. To start off with the story with that rocket and sending it up to space to, to help reduce the effect of global warming was in, intended to also introduce that this story um, begins with people who are trying to introduce change. So basically that's where the story begins and from there we sort of follows um, interesting character arcs, um, hoping to be interesting character <laughs> arcs, um, that that basically expand and climb on top of each other to give a, uh, a, the catalyst of what the story is. Natasha, tell us about your character and introduce us to her a little bit. So I play Selma, who um, lost somebody very close to her in the beginning stages of this show, uh, fiance or husband, I still am not clear on fiance. that. Fiance, sorry. <laughs> See, it's good, to, it's helpful it's, to have a mirror. We're <laughs> learning something every day. Fiance. I think the only guy who knows it. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> he's, 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 the, he's the puzzle master. <laughs> the, he holds the whole, all the keys. Um, but yeah, no, so I uh, have been sort of affected by some sort of mental illness um, to do probably both with well, a couple different things, but part of part of it has to do with losing my fiance, and uh, I start taking me medication. Uh, Eric's character plays my psychiatrist and was also my fiance's psychiatrist, and we sort of get caught up in a relationship. I think, from what I've gathered, based on control and medication, and him sort of taking control of of me in some ways, and we end up married couple, and then finding ourselves in this. Um, predicament situation and uh, as we go. Eric, it doesn't sound like you're an altogether altruistic person <laughs> based on what Natasha said. Tell us about your character. Don't be judgmental. <laughs> uh, I play an every man's man. He's a, he's a bright guy. He's a, he's a psychiatrist and, uh, and he's, a, he's an okay guy. But then we have this circumstance that alters everyone for better and worse. And, uh, yeah. And it goes to worse with him. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Hey Rick, what's your role on the show? I play a one-man's man <laughs> that's not very bright. <laughs> so Eric told me every day. <laughs> now, I play a character named uh, Michael Bannon. Um, it's, it's interesting, when I first got introduced to the character through Ahmed, um, I'll be honest, you know, it was, it was, to me, it seemed like it was just a, a, a one, road note type thing and, and I had a lot of questions about it and what I loved about playing Bannon is that we evolved and we grew every day on set every day we went out we discussed you know that background and that depth that I, I'm, I'm not going to reveal because it's so important to the story later on you know we start to peel the layers of the onion away so to speak and and Bannon comes out so may I may I interject <laughs> you something That's a good this, you do that you use that word a lot this <laughs> part this part was very one-dimensional. Up till this guy played it. This uh, this guy played a killer performance. He Amazing. gives killer performance. Yeah, what a compliment! You no, know, the whole cast has yeah. had this discussion very about him. Yes. He kills it, in his show. It, it, kills. You know what? Those compliments mean a lot. And both Natasha and Eric and I, and I, you know, we watched friendships grow. You know, we, we all had, there was some adversity Wait a second, every we day. don't like you. We just think <laughs> you're good. I say you had to like me. <laughs> but it, it was interesting and, and you know, the character evolves and becomes something because of the people you're around. You know, it started with Ahmed and then of course every relationship and, and interaction with the other characters and, and individuals, you know, on the show. So I'm not gonna tell you anything else about Ben. <laughs> okay. So so this is also a, a historic show in that it's, it's the first show to premiere here at Comic-Con that was uh, shot in the Middle East primarily. Yeah. Was it all shot in the Middle East? It was all shot in Qatar in the Middle East, yeah. 
tell us about how the location and the setting there, because Medina is one of the holiest cities in all of Islam. So talk about how that informs no, the yeah, storyline. Actually, that's, see, the name sometimes confuses it. Medina, uh, uh, is an, is, is a, the name is extracted from the meaning Medina, but Medina actually just means city rather than the actual holy city that is okay. Al-Medina in Saudi Arabia. So it's not related, but in generally, in Arabic, Medina means city, and that's basically what the show means. And, um, and why it means that, we get to reveal it in the show as we go on. Um, the, the, the landscapes that we shot in were most, mostly to fit the ideas of, of um, uh, uh, that we had in the show and we were really stuck in the desert of part of the show and this show sort of has the, up, the, the contrast between the desert and the, and the high-tech development of the city because mm -hmm. the skyline of Doha is itself a sci-fi setting that mm -hmm. is interesting to film um, mm -hmm. with all those big buildings and then the, the second time it's, uh, uh, by that we just go to the desert and get to film beautiful landscapes and be able to tell two different stories that just by themselves look different just because of the locations and we did it all in one place.